Today on the channel, we are going to do something very, very cool. I am going to show off my entire Xbox game collection in a two-part video. This will be part one. So without further ado, let's get right into this, shall we? I'm going to grab a couple of, a few games here real quick. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. A really fun, fun game that has a lot of DLC and a lot of support. It looks amazing on the Xbox One, but if you have the Series X or S patch, it looks even better. So there's that game for you guys. Here's a game that I played last year over... The Christmas Time, The Grinch Christmas Adventures. It's a really cute and fun game. If you have small children or kids that are like 10 years old, pick up this game for them. You'll have a blast and it's a great family Christmas game. This thing right here, AEW Fight Forever. The biggest disappointment of 2023 it was supposed to be good out of delay out of delay out of delay and it just turned out to be crap 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 and boring and let's be honest your dlc prices are atrocious and you should be ashamed of yourself another game i got for christmas last year cyberpunk 2020 yeah 20 77 when i first heard about this game it had a lot of bug issues it was really overhyped and it came crashing down now after patches and whatnot it's been fixed so i need to reinstall this game and give it a proper playthrough because let's be honest it has some awesome looking areas a ginormous expansion that I want to jump into. I think you guys will have fun with this one. The Shadow of the Tomb Raider Steel Book that is still, still in its sleeve. Probably the we wait. Probably the weakest out of the new Tomb Raider trilogy. I'm gonna have to retry this game again. Hopefully, I'll like it this time around. We shall see. Another game I have yet to open up that I got for Christmas. Steel Rising. If anybody's played this game, let me know how it is. Because I feel like it looks really fun. But I hopefully it's not super duper hard. Because I'm a bitch. And another underrated game. Guardians of the Galaxy. Nobody gave this game a fair shot. I No, I certainly did. I wanted to play it. Never got around to playing it. So hopefully, one of these days, I actually get my head out of my arse and play this game. I have the Series X version, guys. On to the next little pile here. We have Ghostbusters, the video game remastered. Still... Sealed up. Another game I need to actually sit down and play. Do we see a trend here, guys? Yeah. Hopefully, I'm going to try to play this game for sure this spooky season. Call of Duty Vanguard. Hell yeah. Call of Duty Vanguard. COD is like really hit and miss half the time anymore. In this game, it was just kind of a miss. But let me know in the comment section below if you guys actually liked Call of Duty Vanguard or not. For me, it was eh. Sonic Colors Ultimate. You know, I haven't found a Sonic game I actually enjoy. And it's kind of depressing because I've enjoyed the first two Sonic movies. Looking forward to the third Sonic movie. And I just wish that it would... Uh, hopefully this new Sonic game coming out 
gets me finally into the Sonic games. There's that one, guys. And the Mass Effect Legendary Edition has all three Mass Effects, another badass RPG franchise during the 360 era that I missed out on. I really do need to give this another opportunity and get my head out of my arse and play this game. I promise I'm going to get it done, guys. Don't you worry. And let me go ahead and get my next pile over here. The second mini pile is the limited edition Murdered Soul Suspect. Another underrated gem of the Xbox One generation that nobody gave a flying crap about and nobody gave a chance. Murdered Soul Suspect is you play this detective who is dead but it's also a ghost and you go around Massachusetts and you try to figure out who attacked you and who murdered you and stuff like that. If anybody has not played this game, please go give this game a try. You will not regret it. Sorry guys, I had to get a drink real quick. Next one up is Tom Clancy's The Division 2. This was a fun multiplayer co-op type of game that I wished I dived more into but when I got it I was always working 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 so I was never able to actually get into this if they make a Tom Clancy the division 3 I will indeed hopefully beat it this time and hopefully I find somebody to play with too there's that one guys Assassin's Creed Valhalla another game I have yet to beat I started this game it was really fun it looks great on the Series X I need to get my head out of my butt and actually sit down and beat all the Assassin's Creed's but they're just so darn timing time consuming that if I try to beat any of them you guys won't get content from me for about five years so we're not gonna do this but pick up this game if you don't have it yet. The Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Medan. You know, when I first heard about this franchise, I was kind of intrigued and I felt like it could be okay. But as soon as I played this game, ooh, it, it was just so good. It's creepy. It's has amazing visuals especially now on the series x it gives you choices and those choices dictate where your story goes it's one of those simulation like movie type of games with a little bit of gameplay but just some awesome looking visuals and really fun go give this a playthrough horror fans if you haven't yet Let me get some more here. The Friday the 13th Horror Multiplayer Game. When this game came out, it was so revolutionary. Because we had not seen a horror slasher multiplayer game as of yet. It just sucked that it didn't get enough support. It had to go through court cases. And undoubtedly, it had to get its servers shut down. What a terrible thing, but I'm glad I own this as a horror fan in my collection. The Outlast Trials, one of the scariest games I have ever played. It was so scary, I couldn't even get through the original. Because of this, in this game, you have to use your camera to go around and document things, but you have no weapons, you have to either hide or die. You want to talk about jump scares and shitting your pants? This franchise will do it, trust me. Look up some walkthroughs, look up some gameplay, you'll know what I mean. But I want to go back to playing this game, 
Hopefully, it doesn't affect me. But yeah, hopefully we get an Outlast 3, not the new one we're getting that it's only multiplayer. Another underrated Ubisoft franchise, Watch Dogs 2. Unfortunately, I didn't give this game a proper chance when it first came out. I looked at it, it felt, it looked really bad. And I regret that because I loved the original Watch Dogs. And after experiencing a little bit of Watch Dogs Legion, right now the Watch Dogs franchise is dead. Ubisoft, if you're listening to this, which I don't think you are, please, please revive the Watch Dogs franchise. Give us a PlayStation 5 Series X game. Come on, please. The only Call of Duty I liked and actually spent a crap ton of time on. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. The campaign was fun. The multiplayer was fun. The zombies mode was fantastic. The only game I was decent at in multiplayer. Unfortunately, it has Kevin Spacey in it, but we don't talk about that. Hey, Activision. Xbox. Advanced Warfare 2, please. Come on. Need to take another drink, guys. Sorry. Video is sponsored by G Fuel. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. We have now the final stack of Xbox games for this part one. If you enjoy this, smack the video with a like and I'll give you a part two. Because I have some more Xbox games over there. One of the best horror franchises of the modern day. The Evil Within 2. I absolutely loved the original Evil Within. I have yet to beat the Evil Within 2. It's on Game Pass. I need to sit down and do this thing justice. Because I don't know if we're getting an Evil Within 3. Because freaking Tango Gameworks is making weird ass games like Hi-Fi Rush. And... Freaking Ghostwire Tokyo, sorry. Hey, Tango Gameworks, please give me an Evil Within 3. Please. But no, if you're a horror fan, go buy this. Good old Gears of War 4. Man, when this game first came out, I had so much fun with the campaign. I absolutely loved it. The story mode. The multiplayer was fun. This was a game that I was known for the chainsaw HOE. Because every time you got near me. Vroom, 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 I'm gonna chainsaw your ass. Really fun game. If you're a Gears of War head. You should already own this. And Gears of War 5. A true open world Gears of War-ish. Expanded on the story. Awesome, awesome multiplayer. I can't wait to see what they do with Kate Diaz's story for Gear 6. Unfortunately, I got annoyed with the multiplayer and I stopped. Because there was just too much cheapness. And I wasn't doing good with my chainsaw kills. But just a gorgeous looking game on the Series X. If you don't own this game yet, it's still on Game Pass. Do yourself a favor. Buy this thing physically or go download it on Game Pass. And I can't wait for Gear 6, guys. Another game I got for Christmas last year, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. I have don't, want, don't know what to say about this game yet because I haven't tried it out yet. But when I do, I will let you know. Huh, this is a perfect segue. Hopefully the next Mortal Kombat isn't as bad as Mortal Kombat 1, from what I hear. Another awesome horror multiplayer game, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I downloaded it on Xbox Game Pass. I need to actually not be a bitch and actually get on the game and play it. 
Hopefully, it's not one of those games like Friday the 13th was where it dies down quickly. Its DLC roadmap is kind of iffy-washy, but we'll see. If you're a horror fan, check this out. Yeah! And the final game for this part one is this Dead Island 2 Steelbook. Look at this Dead Island 2 Steelbook, guys. It looks fantastic. Another game that took way too long to get here that I need to seriously sit down and play. Because even if you hate zombie games, if you're in a bad mood, zombie games are just fun. The original Dead Island was revolutionary for the time. I had a lot of fun with that one. Hopefully when I sit down and actually give this a go for once, I will enjoy this. And hopefully, if they do give us a Dead Island 3, it doesn't take freaking 10 years to make. So there you go, guys. That is my part one of my Xbox Games Collection video. If you want to see a part two, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will definitely give you guys a part two to this collections video and trust me i've my switch and my playstation i can also do guys until the next one peace